right, we've recently released a couple of videos on gun cleaning. Gun cleaning a spray gun by hand is usually the best way to take care of it, or if you're using a machine. Either way, if you're doing it correctly, you still need to use a proper gun grease at the end of that cleaning process. You don't need to do that every day, but you do need to put that on maybe once a week in a shop where you're absolutely uh, busy. Most painters, if they did this once a month, it's going to really make your spray gun last a long time. So there's a few things. You, you, you look on this spray gun and we have a trigger that behind it, it has a trigger pin. Um, you have a few key components. You have the spring and the fluid control knob that are in the back of the spray gun. Those need grease. And you have a paint needle. Those are the locations where we're going to put grease on this. So I'll show you uh, quickly how I would suggest doing it. I like to take the paint, this uh, spring, and use it as more of a grease brush rather than a spring. So I'll put some grease on this uh, spring, and I'm going to use that to put just a little bit on the rear of this paint needle. And the reason that you want to put that on the rear of that paint needle is that paint needle is in the rear of the spray gun, and if you're using a gun all day long and gun washing it, many times they can accidentally get some fluids back into that air micrometer, and it keeps this um, functional and clean. Put just a little bit of grease on that barrel on the needle and the reason for that is because that is a stainless steel bushing that goes inside of an aluminum body and it helps it slide in and out and helps it uh, uh, to not stick inside of that location. On your spray gun needle behind that you have your fluid control knob and we'll use this grease to put on this and then you can turn the lock nut back and forth on this piece and by rotating that back and forth now all of the threads on the rear of that are completely covered with grease and what that is for is to prevent any overspray from sticking to those threads and now you don't have any wear on your threads so that stainless knob goes into an aluminum gun body and, you, and it turns very very easily now so making adjustments to that are uh, very simple um, the last place that I put grease on this is on that air piston behind the trigger. So by push, putting that on there, when I pull that trigger, it creates a nice slick surface for that trigger to pull easily. It lubricates the packing that's on the inside and the air piston packing, and it allows no overspray to stick. And on the front of each of these packing holders, SADA has made a uh, air piston packing holder that has like a cutting edge on it to help remove overspray. So that saves on wear and tear on that internal packing. Now I've got a little bit of grease left on this spring. I'm going to put that on the rest of that uh, spring so that's completely lubricated. Put my fluid knob in and uh, now my gun is completely lubricated and ready to go. And if you did that, again, if you, weekly would be best. But if at, at the very least, if you did that once a month, this spray gun is going to last a long time. Another option that you have is in the rear of this, you can pull the screw and take the air micrometer out of this and once a month wipe grease on that air micrometer and that's going to be uh, uh, a perfectly greased spray gun. And I'll show you how to do that. So this is a, uh, at a 30 degree angle when you get on this screw. It isn't at straight ahead, so just make sure that when you take that out, you'll feel it when it catches it at an angle. We just screw this, uh, screw this small all right once you've loosened that screw that screw comes out the entire air micrometer comes out of the rear of that spray gun this is where you put some grease so just a small amount of grease on that on those components and the seal inside the that gauge and this slides back in Once you've got that screw back inside, it just simply hand tightens. Um, doesn't have to be real snug. Just turn it till it's, it's uh, snug. And now that spray gun is, again, in a perfect working order, and it's going to last that way for a long time.